everyone. It's um, it's dark outside, so I thought we'd have a relaxed little reading tonight. We're going to have a look at advice from the universe. So you're going to have a look at the energy, the actions and the ideals or ideas you need to move away from and those that you need to embrace. You have got three choices. These fantastic new cards. I'm just looking at the name. Earth Child Tarot, Alison Davis. They're all behind me. First one is Empress. Beautiful, beautiful. The second one is Devil, beautiful, and the Magician is the third. So if you want to take your choice and then we'll get going. These are only short readings. What I'm trying to, trying to do at the moment is mix in longer readings and sh with shorter readings. Um, at the moment, this pile here, the energy that you need to move away from makes me think that you've hardened up in some way. There's some situation, something around you that's caused you to have tears and it feels like, you know, they say, you know, when you're depressed, when you don't appreciate a sunlight, um, not a sunlight, the sun falling or the sun rising. I only thought of that today because I was driving home from work and in the, my back mirror the sun was bright red. I don't often notice it, but it was bright, bright red as it was falling here. There's something about you hardening up inside yourself. Not that like you're some tough cookie off these denders. It just feels as if you've blocked out a lot of the things that you find beautiful here because something has ended or it just feels like you need to regain your verve or your zest for life in some way. As if you're just going through the methodical process of going to work, coming home, or there's something that's just quite not knitted together. It feels like you just lost that childlike, you know, skippity fun that you may have had when you were younger. And you've sort of looking at things very logically. What can you fit into your life? We know where will this go? Where will this go? And, we, and almost saying goodbye to those things that we did when we were kids, where we did it just for the sake of doing it. And the first thing I'm thinking about here is travel. And I don't know if that's me, but there's a feeling here that the energy that you, you need to move away from is that energy of thinking you know what comes next and almost not bothering with it. Because I think traveling is one of those things that once you sit, this may just be me, I don't know, because to me it's the most exciting thing on earth. It's when you're sat on the plane and you almost enter another world. And I don't know if all you old people in Britain remember Mr. Ben. He was a man that went into a, it's a car, kid's cartoon, very, very long time ago. He used to go into, <laughs> He used to go into a um, changing room and then he would come out in another world. You know, this has got a feeling that you almost need to just chuck yourself into a changing room and just look at life a different way because it feels like there's too many swords here for me with regards to energy. You know, you've got three swords cards and that's been logical. That's being quite slicing in your thought process. And to me, having three there is that like you need to give that up and have a bit more cups maybe. I don't even feel like pentacles, to be honest, because you maybe, maybe, I don't know. But there's too many swords. It's far too... And I'm trying to think of people that I know that have got too much air in them. <laughs> too much air in them. And they tend to be... Jordan Peterson makes me think of one. You know, he thinks and he thinks and he thinks, doesn't he? And, he, you know, normally I'm guessing not so much Jordan Peterson, but I think of these people who like small faces, small features, um... I've got a lot of air in me. So, you know, just, I'm saying that because I had a friend I used to know um, when my children were smaller who had a big face, big features. There was a little boy in my kids' class and she said he had a rat face. Not my, not my little boy. And I was thinking, that's because you've got a bigger face. I thought it was really rude because he had small features and it just was, they weren't familiar with it. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with anything. Your energy that you need to move away from is... Um, reminiscing over something that's hurt you, looking at things too logically, trying to understand things, and it feels like you need, to, I, would, I haven't really looked at this side here where you need to move towards. It feels like you almost need to give up the sensible attitude. 
And I often think you have a situation in front of you, it's not just traveling. You try and think of what's gonna happen next and there's no point in doing it. And you see kids, they just do things, they play. They just play with life. I saw two kids today. They had a big tube and they had a picnic table and they had a piece of wire and they had a, it was like a little sort of plastic hold all like a tray sort of thing and they made a park out of it it had a slide it had a seesaw it had some oh and there was two like hanging you know feet you stand on and they were just having the best fun until I had to tell them off but they were they were having the best fun and they just made it up on the spot this has a feeling here you just need to make things up on a spot so the energy that you need to be moving to is the three of swords is like letting something go to me with these sword cards here there's something about your energy that just needs to be there and be beautiful you've got the empress card up here you know it's like holding on to these flowers it's like holding on to the beauty inside you and everything that you do everything that you see and letting go of the niggles and shitty things behind you that you don't need to hold on to and you've got the queen of cups here you know trying to move away from these swords into the cups is having emotional reactions to things and feeling love even though it sounds really corny and it sounds very new age just and i was going to say this rubbing your dog's ears when I go to bed every night, my dog has got the most beautiful ears and I say goodnight to her and I just do that and she's like, piss off. <laughs> she doesn't say that. It's, I just do it just to remind myself that she's there and that she's lovely and that she's sweet and then I do it in the mornings. It's just that type of feeling here. Queen of Cups is to acknowledge beauty with the Empress card there, to acknowledge emotions, everything that you've got already. This isn't a telling off pile at all. This is just getting away from swords pile. And the Four of Pentacles here makes me think appreciation of what you have in your life already. This is, sounds like a really telling off pile. And I'm really sorry, because I sat down to have a chat really, because I thought it's the evening and I'd be a bit more relaxed, but it feels like I've got one on me. It just feels like I'm telling you, I'm not at all. I'm just trying to move away from these swords cards, this sword energy into the energy that may serve you better here. And that's letting the swords go. That is something that may have happened to you in the past or something that's niggling you. It doesn't really serve you to keep thinking about it because it's got to be some sort of thoughts or communication. It's like, just let that go. And then these two cards here, the Four of Pentacles is not a particularly lovely card, but with regards to this reading, it feels like you should be happy with what you've got. You know, the status quo and the Queen of Cups is basically to get away from this is to probably put some emotional component into everything that you touch. You know, some people are emotional, some aren't, and I think it's probably time to bring the softness back because these look tough. These are tough, tough cards. Very good for doing exams, very good for making decisions, possibly, not unless it's Libra, but you don't want to be living that all the time, do you? There's got to be some variety in life, um, and it may be time to move away from that sort of energy. Right, let's have a look at your next one. Let's use, let's use the same cards. Okay, this is a difficult one. I'm just gonna have a go. My first thoughts, this may change as I start reading it. To me, my first thoughts here are giving too much in a work situation and it being all or nothing. Um, I'm thinking of a woman that I used to work with. She was Sagittarius Virgo, so there's a real need to be engrossed in everybody's life. And I mean that in a nice way. She was very, very good at including community and she worked extremely hard, but she had Pluto conjunct her 
um, North Node and she gave everything until she flopped and it doesn't flop she almost like not literally died but she used to have periods of time out of work where she would just burn she would crash and burn and this is a thing that may be the way that you've been working on things at the moment and um, your actions just seem with the ace of wands and the tower here as if you push and push and push until you can't push anymore the six of pentacles makes me think you may have been sharing your time with too many people or it may just be a work situation and what you need to move towards I guess here is honing in on what's important and not spreading yourself too thinly the chariot is asking to basically take one road rather than pulling two things together and so many times we try and be supermen and superwomen I don't do that I just don't do that I never really did you know I used to have friends um, and I don't know if it's where we live because it's like um People in London who tend to, you know, I'm guessing here, this is a big um, a stereotyping collective thing here, that work really hard. There's, the, the London is a fast pace, faster pace of life, I'm guessing. And then we used to live on the outskirts where we used to get people who still had that mindset. Um, and they used to still, you know, there was still the drive there. They'd have all the country bits around them, but there was still a very much... Um, and need to drive and push themselves and their kids in many ways, which I'm not saying, you know, I think whatever you do, do your best and enjoy it. But when you go to different countries, sometimes you think that's definitely a very British mentality. Hi there, I'm back. Sorry, my camera's um, battery. No, did, actually, no, I'm not a porky pie. My battery didn't die. It was my SD card was full. Um, I was talking about my sister and name she had for these people. I'm going to drop that one. So I'm glad it actually stopped here. There's just a feeling here, the Tempest, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like pulling energy together, knowing where you're going to focus yourself and just doing that in a very sort of gentle way. The Temperance is balanced. The Temperance is, I guess, it's a difficult card to understand. And I don't claim that I do at all. But to me, it makes me think, of you know you think of Sagittarius and you think of a Sagittarius that's laid back and doesn't really care that much about anything and I watched Fight Club last night was it the night before you know that Brad Pitt sort of the part that he plays in that it's like you know who cares it's like push it or shove it <laughs> it doesn't really matter here and the Knight of Pentacles here is doing it a steady way. So to me, with regards to your actions, it's like let it go, Kitty. It's let go, Kitty. It really is here. And just relax and, you know, it's like, get off. If you're in some sort of situation in your life where you feel like you are stuck, I can't think of the word here. It's like on the rat run or the rat race. It's like, just get off that wheel. Get off that hamster wheel, even if you're a rat. It does honestly feel like just relax, take things easy because nothing at the end of the day is worth it. And I often say this, and I mean, sometimes it takes for somebody to be, to, to be removed from our life, you know, somebody who we love, for us to really start questioning it. And that never lasts for long. We seem to, we seem to go back into the same sort of mindsets again and start thinking things are important that really aren't. But I do think lots of things are changing at the moment for lots of people. Anyway, let's go to your um, advice from the universe. The ideas and ideals. Okay, this has got a similar message. The message at the end from your advice from the universe is, can you hear my son playing drums? Is four of cups. Things you need to move away from with regards to ideas. To me, that is words like, I'm thinking of these words, how, what words you were called as a kid? What on earth does lackadaisical mean? Um, it feels like, to me, that feels like you need to move away from 
not enjoying your life. It feels like you move, you know, when somebody offers you something, you're like, oh, can't be bothered, give or take it. You know, do you want to go out for a meal? No, not really sure. Do you want to travel to the side of the world? I, I don't know if I can fit it in. It feels like in some way that stability and smaller things have caused you the four of cups, the page of wands and the four of wands here may have caused you in some way to um, lose your zest again. It's going back to this, these cards at the front. You know, which is, is difficult. Nobody can be like 100% zesty every day unless you're a bar of soap. You know, you just can't do it, can you? And what it's asking you to do here, power number one, is to give it up. <laughs> give it up. You've got the hangman. You've got justice cards here. And that is somebody who is easy come, easy go. It's like, stop trying so hard. Stop trying to think that decisions are important. You know, there's so many things, aren't there, that we think are important. My daughter has had a fringe cut in. We have got the thickest hair on earth, I swear. And she's had a very eyebrow length fringe and she decided she's not going to go out for about a month and she likes wants to go out clubbing and I said nobody really cares nobody's looking at you and it's not until you get older that you actually realize that is true and this has a feeling like nobody cares really I mean people care about each other normally in families and friends and communities but it's like what you think is important nobody else really does this is a feeling here of just let it go especially if it's an argument. If this top line here, with regard to the energy that you need to let go, it's some sort of argument, because you have got the three of swords and you have got the ten of swords and you've got two people here and that's communication to me. But to me, I felt it could be you. But this is like, stop being defensive, let it go. If you're holding on to some fantastic grudge, to do with a relationship or a person, um, especially if they're an air sign, it's like, let that go because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. At the end of the day, when we're all sat there in our nappies, in our little beds, when we're in like our 80s or whatever, if we make it till then, um, none of it really matters. None of it really matters. Yesterday, coming home from work, um, or was it the day before? I can't, oh my God, I've got no, my note was picking the children up. There was um, a car back to front in the centre, of the central lane on the motorway and these women got out and they were just standing there all the traffic stopped i was i just saw an explosion of smoke and there was a lady with her head back and i'm thinking it's it shakes doesn't it because then you start you start thinking you know that could have been somebody you knew and then you can see this lady and thinking she's got family um and none of the things that we find important really are and this is a quite a lovely pile for just being just being and if you've argued with somebody here, the universe would be telling you to let it go. <laughs> let go, kitty. Okay, I'm going to finish there. Pile number one. I hope that makes sense. It didn't sound like preachy mum. I don't, don't mean it to, but I hope you can see the cards as well and that you may have said or may have thought, you may be forgiving me and seeing I can see where that's coming from. Anyway, I'm going to go pile number one. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>
And the Page of Swords is got something to do with communicating with somebody. I'll tell you what it feels like to me, and it may not apply to you, or it may, I don't know. It's like, just say you wanted to start a, new, start a new job or a new situation, and you've been thinking about it, possibly talking about it, wondering, looking at things quite negatively, as in, if I do that, I might trip up. It's, it's that type of scenario. Um, and here, the Hierophant and the Fool is like, do it anyway, but make sure you've got some sort of structure to it and start getting advice from people is what I'm thinking here. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking of something else then. I'm thinking of something else, which is a story that was told me tonight that was really interesting, I've forgotten it. Right, let's go on to the actions. Well, you know what? I can't answer this initially because I'll tell you the truth here. My first thought when I get all these out, these cards here, you've got the King of Pentacles, the Empress and the Fortune. And these are the actions you need to move away from. So I'm thinking you need to move away from thinking that you've got it all together. It's like let yourself just flow in some way. But there's a feeling here that you don't always have to be right. And then I'm getting to this pile over here, which has got a feeling of balance, but you still thinking that you need to control things which is funny because you've got the Hierophant and the Fool here. So this is like get things started even though there is a level of control. But with the King of Pentacles and the Empress card here, to me it feels like, you know, it's like a bit like mum and dad, isn't it? It's like stop feeling that you have to answer to people. It stops, you know, regards your actions. It stops feeling that you need to get everything right. The Wheel of Fortune here is in Jupiter. Yeah, but you're moving away from that. Mm, I need some more cards on this. What I'm thinking, oh, I need some more cards. I need some more cards for this one. Hold on. What do they need to move away from with regards to actions? Finances, money. Um, mm, I don't know feels to me like there's some sort of relationship that you need to let flow in some way. Make a decision with. Ah, hold on, hold on. This is, this is moving towards. I'm going to switch off. I'm going to have to think about this one. Hold on. I have a little thought here. I've just had a little think here. That if there's somebody in your life that you may have a relationship with or that you're quite keen on and you're sort of waiting for something to happen, you know, the King of Pentacles, the Empress and the Queen of King of Cups over the Empress the card here and the Wheel of Fortune made, making me think of, you know, things, how they go around in cycles, think, you know, whether it's good times or bad times and trying to decide what to do. So it's almost like you're kept on a cliff edge in some way because you're attracted to someone don't know if this feels right and then what you need to move away from I guess here is playing the middle ground it's like sitting on the fence here and the emperor card here is take things into your own hands I guess because this feels like a nice relationship like mummy and daddy then the king of cups goes next to the empress I'm thinking oh sweet like love relationship and then you've got the wheel of fortune which is nice and it's making me think of movement and what you know wishing and waiting and then you've got the two of pentacles which makes me think of decisions and then you've got the justice card here which both cards are trying to a bit like the two of pentacles trying to wonder or trying to juggle things or trying to find an even ground and you've got that crossed with something that may have happened in the past and then you've got the stamp at the end is the emperor so that is like realize what you had may have been nice but now you've you know even whichever way this relationship goes you've got to basically take the bull by the reins and the horn by the whatever it is it feels like you've got to take the initiative in some way to get on with your life even if they're around or they're not around because there's something so attractive about people that just aren't asked. There's something really nice, you know, if somebody, if you're attracted to somebody 
or vice versa. There's something so attractive about people that are just busy, not busy, selfish busy, but busy in themselves. It makes you want to have, be part of it, doesn't it? It makes you want to know, you know, because they just appear self-satisfied. Not the fact that, you, you know, you're stuck in your own ways or something. It just is if you, by getting on with something and not wondering or not sitting on the fence. It's by taking the initiative in some way with regards to a relationship, which makes me think love relationship, don't know, um, that the correct thing for you to do is be the boss. Be boss baby. This whole pile here, the justice and the chariot, you're know, going both ways, pulled into one way, which has got something to do with the past. It's like you don't know what to do. It feels like, as I said earlier, sitting on the fence. And then I think for you with regards to your actions is to take hold of that emperor card. Yeah, it's like fresh starts, new you um, and tough. Tough as in... Tough with yourself. Not hard, but tough. It's like, well, I thought about them this morning and I did it for three seconds. So I'm really proud of myself rather than like an hour of fantasizing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about there. Anyway, your last one is ideas and ideals. Okay. Regards to ideas and ideals. Temperance and the Page of Wands. Measured. Okay. I'm just going to go down this tack that I sort of felt in the middle spread here of let me just rumble rumble my way through this one the temperance card here is making me think of measured in some way the page of wands it feels like you're almost pushing out you know this is like a fiery card the page of wands is like a small wand card it's like pushing your little toes out to do something here and there's i guess a feeling of fear here with regard to some idea that you have that you're going to end up with egg on your face the five of swords is like somebody taking something away from you so there may be some idea or some ideal or something in your life that you know you're almost choking on because you want to get moving but you don't want to pipe up about it and you feel as if there's, you're nervous that something's going to fall through and what it's asking you to do here is to jump in do it anyway but with no sort of as if you're not really thinking of what's coming next I mean the seven of cups is like you don't have to hone anything down to a particular project or a particular person or a particular situation it's like the world's your lobster here you've got lots of different choices you don't have to take on everything it's like try a couple of things this is like choices to me with regards to ideas and ideals it's like um if you've got a big decision to make it's a case of, I'm trying to, th I'm going to put this in terms of some lovely lady I had a reading the other day. Um, she isn't some lovely lady, I do know her name. And I thought she had a particular job um, because of her email. So I'm saying, she's asking like a business question. I'm saying, well, this, you know, if you want to do this, this is this in regards to her email. And she said, actually, that's not the job I'm actually looking for. But she said, I translated it. So please try and translate this. Um, there's a feeling here, if you've got, lots of different options to make then to have a crack a little crack at all of them it's like when you're sending off for something in the post you know say like a new dress or a pair of shoes you know get quite a few get a couple of shirts try them all on it's that feeling don't think that you have to stick with something you're the boss you're the emperor you can do what you want Because this is tentative. This is somebody who may have fire in them that is only giving a little bit out to people here because you're afraid of tripping up, which probably isn't. If you have got fire in you, maybe not part of your nature anyway. And this is saying just express yourself. You know, like a child, have a crack at anything. 
You know, kids do, don't they? They don't feel the embarrassment that we feel. You know, when you're young, I, I actually not too bad at this one. I'm horrendous at so many things in my life, but starting new things, not too bad. It's like, um, it's like, you know, you can learn languages when you're young or you can um, go to job interviews and not really care and you get over it the next day. This is a feeling of getting back that energy inside yourself and having a go at everything. And it's almost like shrug your shoulders. You know, who cares if you go to a job interview and you don't get it? Or if you um, go out and make a fool of yourself or if you declare your undying love to somebody and they basically look at you blank. You know, who cares? It's <laughs> very much like band number one, to be honest. And this always makes me think when I'm saying that, when I get this feeling I'm saying this, it, rem it reminds me, I've said this in other readings, of a TV show with Oliver Reed on it when he was younger and he was really attractive when he was young and they put him on, it could have been Parkinson's, I think, but they, they knew he was an alcoholic and they put so much drink into his room that by the time he got out on stage um, or in the, well, yeah, on stage on his chair, really, um, he was absolutely plastered and he made what most people would say a fool of himself. But he said afterwards, he said, who cares? You know, does it really matter anywhere? And I thought that really got me and I was only young and I come to thinking, what? Really interesting. He was Aquarius. I just, and that is the type of attitude um, I, I would imagine, really. It's like, yeah, who cares? So, I'm going to leave that there, pile number two. And I think the overriding theme of this with regards to your energy and your actions and your ideas and ideals is um, having confidence in yourself to I'm going to say muck up, but I'm not thinking the M there, but it is having the confidence to muck up things, um, do things with a structure and you make yourself boss, but not in a rigid way. It's, it's a way that, um, that expresses yourself, that allows you to be you, that allows you to shine and to laugh it off and shrug your shoulders when you go downhill. And that's really important. And I think the older the, that we get, the more we need to try that. We all need to keep a hold of that, you know, that basically, that outlook, that outlook in life. Because, and as I said, I said this, I think in pile number one, I can't remember which pile it was, but nobody really cares. Nobody cares, do they? And I don't mean that in a nasty way, like your, your friends and your relatives don't care. It's that people, life is so fast moving, people are quite engrossed in themselves that they move on very quickly. Um, okay, pile number two, hope that helps. Bye. <music>I don't even feel like explaining the cards, to be honest, because I forget what I'm going to say. This has a feeling here of not restraining yourself with regards to the energy that you need to move away from. It feels like in some way that you are trying to pull yourself together too much. You're trying to hide a little bit with, re with regards to expressing yourself and you're trying to possibly back yourself down in some way. It feels like you're probably too modest or you're putting yourself into a corner in some sort of situation. With regards to the energy you need to move towards, you've got the star and the queen of wands and that's beautiful. I mean, the star and the queen of wands is understanding where your place is in life and it puts seeing it as a big picture. And the queen of wands has the gusto, has the exuberance to get that moving. It feels like... Um, a Sagittarius child, you know, when you see kids that are Sagittarius, not so much grown up, but they just are and they're full of vitality and they just move on from one situation to the next and they enjoy every second. And the moon card here has got a feeling of fluidity, is that a word? There's a feeling here of what I guess is creative. Ah. A creative approach to creating your reality is probably what I'm trying to say, which isn't very elegantly said. Um, it has a feeling here, the star and the moon together are quite celestial. One's looking out and one's changing things in a very fluid way. The queen of wands here is actually grabbing that um, and in some way manifesting it with fun. It's manifesting it with um, exuberance and Oh, I'm going to say childlike, but it just feels like somebody that's laughing and somebody that's playing with life, but it's all under control, in, under their control. They know how to control themselves in any situation they go into. It makes me think of somebody that can fight or has got very 
good choice of words when they're, they're attacked in some way because it's playful and they don't care and people can smell it so they don't bother fighting with you. You know, that type of feeling here in this. Because this is knowing what's important with the star. The moon is being able to shift in and out of situations and the queen of wands, somebody who grabs it, runs with it, enjoys every second of it. So that's what you need to move towards and no, don't restrain yourself in situations this speaks of. It's like don't make yourself small for anybody here feeling. Don't feel that you have to pull things together to be something that you're not. Don't you think that? Okay. Oh, this is quite, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, a strong pile. There's a feeling here with regards to the actions that you need to move away from. It's got something about the Empress and the Ace of Swords. And there was somebody in work that was talking about, um, it doesn't have to be just be women, but it makes me think of somebody with a very, she was talking about women, to be honest, uh, or girls, to be honest, more than women. She was talking about girls that apologize when they talk. And she was saying that, because you've got the Ace of Swords and the Empress card here, which is Venus. It doesn't have to be women, but if you're not a woman, it, you're probably quite effeminate with regards to the way that you present yourself. As in, you may wait for people to, I'm not trying, I'm tripping myself up here. But it's energy. I'm not talking of sex. I'm talking of um, being quite receptive, being quite gentle, waiting for the other person to talk rather than just going out and attacking life in some way. This is a problem for you, maybe. It feels like you know these two. This these cards are receptive here. The hangman is waiting and watching. The empress here is trying to appear all beautiful and um, all fantastic. And the ace of swords here. And this is something you need to let go. It's got something to do with communicating. It's like somebody who doesn't speak up because they're afraid of losing friends or afraid of looking disgusting or afraid of basically looking too assertive here. As this lady in work was saying that there was a, she was listening to something on the radio on the way and she was talking about um, that girls in education, for some reason, I don't know if this is true or not, she was telling me she heard on the radio, that they apologise whenever they speak up. And she said that boys as a whole, I don't know if this is true, honestly, I didn't say it, it was on the radio. They just say what they're going to say. You know, they will say, well, girls say, well, I don't know if this is true, but, or, you know, they put an apology at the end of the sentence, which I'm trying really hard to stop doing after saying that. Um, now, this is what you need to move towards. And the sun card is, we had this in the last pile. If you're looking for something to, to move towards, the sun card is the best card you can possibly get because that is just opening yourself up to anything and everything and being yourself. It's like no holds barred, just being raw you. Fun, open, even a little bit over the top. You know, that doesn't really matter here because if things fall away, you've got the Five of Cups, you've got the Ten of Swords. It's like they weren't meant to be there in the first place next to the sun because the sun shines on this, this cruddy bits here. It's like, yeah, let that go. It's like if things fall out of your life, if you're not being yourself, if you're not expressing yourself, if you're not talking up the way that you feel that you ought to, if you are listen to this feeling quite choked and annoyed with yourself because you haven't spoken up or you haven't asserted yourself, not in an aggressive way, just being who you are. And, you know, you do everybody else a favour by actually speaking out. I was a member of my family who has spent years and years and years not saying what she wants. And then she gets to a grand old age and we just say to her, mum, just say what you want. You know, do you want this? Do you want that? And she's like, well, I can't do that. But it's, she's far happier because it was repressed anger she was holding on to because she never, she hasn't spoken up what she wants her whole lifetime. And that doesn't do her any good whatsoever. So don't go through that situation if there's something that you want and you're a little bit timid to ask but you're actually doing yourself a disservice and everybody else as well and there's ways you can put things into action there's ways you can actually talk without being offensive 
tell me how you do that because I don't know but the sun card here is just be yourself and that's quite a nice card for actions it's like don't try and pretend anything else if you need something ask for it and do it in a way where you're not thinking too much you're just saying what's coming into your mind and saying it in a gentle fashion it doesn't have to be rough and ready but it definitely doesn't need to be overthought about either and those people that don't like it will fall away they will still love you because you're you and those people you know who know you who are very close to you um you often find that don't you the thing i'm thinking about here is i've got a real problem with details really extremely bad problem with people's names and details and remembering things and i've been like this since i was young and i can remember being in a situation i don't know how much this is in my head or whether um I don't know I don't know but I do remember somebody either had a go at me because this must have been in my 20s because I'm thinking of the lady who I worked with in my 20s and um, for spelling her name wrong <laughs> really angry with me for spelling her name wrong um, and I was like well who cares and I thought you know me well enough to know that I wouldn't do it that intentionally to wind you up so but that was the way her mind worked it upset her she was she was very detailed you know beautiful she looked like Julia Andrews beautiful woman everything she wore and the way she moved was perfect very Virgo very oppressive dad um and she did she liked everything just so and she was really upset me for spelling her name wrong and I was like well it doesn't really matter you know I didn't it, what that changes life you know, not at all not at all anyway what i'm trying to say um is those people who you care about um, and care about you if you spell their name wrong if you say something that comes out back to front and is slightly offensive they know that you won't mean it so and i think it's probably time with these cards here to speak up speak your truth in a very nice way Okay, last one. Oh. Okay, this last line is not going to fit in with many people at all, I don't think. If you have something that's important in your life that has got something to do with family and you need to make a change, this is saying that that may, ne may need to be done. And I'm thinking here, my first thought was, if you're in a relationship that you feel like you need to move away from, um, take this with a pinch of salt, it's a general reading, then... Um, the in the uh, if <laughs> oh my lord i'll tell you what you've got and you can make of it what you will because i'm not going to give big advice to anybody because it's a general reading and you know it's just ideas and thoughts for you to mill over you've got the judgment card which makes me think of a big situation or you know, something that changes your direction in life you've got the ten of cups which is a family an established family established emotions and then you've got the fool and that is changing direction that is basically starting a journey so that's what I'm getting on this side. On this side, I've got a feeling or thoughts of somebody who's very independent with regards to their finances. So I, you can tell that I'm thinking of divorce here, probably. I'm not at all saying that is a cracking idea. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's what I'm thinking at the moment. But as I said, you know, if there's more than two people watching, it may just be one person that it applies to. <laughs> and you've got here the knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles the way that you should be moving with regard to your ideas and ideals so this could even have a more gentler view hey at last um of if you're relying on other people in a family situation with regards to your finances the idea or the ideal is you've outgrown it it's to me this feels like if you're playing around with earning your own money that is the way to go and it start looking out so this makes me think there's something a feeling here of applying for jobs and being more independent in some way or enjoying your independence in some way and if you're not happy in a family environment that's fine you can actually make yourself happy on your own 
even if you stay with this person, even if it's not quite as drastic as this, there's just a feeling of a male or a female who has independence, earns their own money and enjoys it. It feels like by actually reaching out in the world, you gain confidence. You know, when people start, you know, you don't work for a while and then you go to work and you actually remember what it's like to talk to people. And you can do it without mumbling, no. This has a feeling here, there's something to be gained from being, um, what's the word? Independent, I suppose. Financially independent, financial independence here. And the three of wands is like, get it moving. If there's something that you haven't started that you need to start, get apply for something because that's the way you should be going. And there's also a feeling here with regards to, you know, moving out of family house possibly here with the three of wands here and that's movement or traveling abroad if you feel like you've outstayed your welcome in your family then this is saying get your money together and move in a nice way it feels exciting to me it feels like time's ripe even right right and ripe and even if you have to start small it's like saving towards something if you feel like you've outgrown a family situation or even a marriage I will say that and I don't want to be you know to, to basically basically instigate anybody else anybody's do any else divorce I've told my husband no that's not true um this is a feeling here that start small and start gaining your independence and see how you feel later on because in some ways by doing that if you're relying on somebody that could actually just you know relax the whole situation right I would, I would love to give you a peel down of what I've just read, but I don't think I could do it because there's quite a lot here on the table, but there's a feeling here of speaking your piece is what I've got here, being yourself, letting situations just fizzle out if that those people can't take who you are. There's a feeling here of... Um, Being confident in yourself all the way through this pile. I mean, your energy at the top, the star, the queen of wands and the moon card here. It's like everything all together. It's like somebody who can look forward, somebody who enjoys life, somebody who can look after themselves and somebody who does it in quite a creative, almost um, magical way. You've got the empress, you've got the moon here and the ace of swords. It's quite a creative pile here. And the way that you need to look at life is to... have confidence in yourself move on from situations that you've outgrown and um, even if it's in small steps okay well i'm going to leave that there pile number three which was the magician um i hope that makes sense in some way or you've got something from bits of it remember that it's a general tarot reading so um you know take these cards with a pinch of salt it's for you and I always think tarot readings are for you to play with thoughts and ideas um of what you think may be coming towards you because it's nice to be a, I just think it's nice. I like enjoy listening to tarot readings because all these ideas pop up into my head that sometimes I hadn't think about, thought about. You know, and people have such different ways of viewing things that I haven't actually taken into account. I thought, yeah, okay, I can see that. And then I come out with different ideas. And, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a reasonable mindset, you, you can choose the best one that feels right for you and you know that it feels right because as somebody's saying it you're like yes that's it that's what i needed to do and when it feels wrong it's like well no that must be for somebody else <laughs> right i'm gonna go then and um, thank you for spending time with me bye mm -hmm.